Hi there, the Story Ninja is back with another favourite from our personal collection. Now we've been collecting books for years. My little G is 11 years old, so I've been collecting books from before she was born. Can you imagine that? But this one is a little book that was a prize in some kind of competition. Some stage. And I think the date is inside here, so let's just see. The SA Book Fair 2014. So you work out how long ago was that? I'll leave the math to you. So this story is called The Slightly Annoying Elephant by David Williams. So let's see. It's quite a huge book, isn't it? Well, I'm guessing elephants are quite large too, eh? So let's see, the slightly annoying elephant. And why is he ever so annoying? One day, there was a loud knock on the door. Sam ran down the stairs to open it. Was his mum back from the shops? Was it a friend? Was it the postman? Um, no. It was, oh my word, a great big Elephant. A ginormous blue elephant. Hello, Sam, he boomed. How do you know my name? said Sam. You adopted me, don't you remember? Ooh, do you think Sam remembers? Well, Sam had a think. Well, I filled in an adopt an elephant form at the zoo, b -b spluttered Sam. The last thing he was expecting was the elephant to actually turn up on his doorstep. Well, how did you get here all the way from Africa, asked Sam. On a plane, of course, silly boy. And just by the way, the airline was quite rude. They made me buy... Two seats. Can you believe that? An elephant on an aeroplane? Um, now, but if you'll excuse me, I need to take a bath, announced the elephant. He pushed past Sam and made his way upstairs to the bathroom, knocking all the pictures off the wall. And because the elephant was so big, all the water from the bathtub flooded the bathroom floor. What's more, he used all the soap and all the towels. Instead of hanging the towels up afterwards, he let them strewn across the floor. Oh my goodness! A little bit inconsiderate, don't you think? I am hungry, demanded the elephant. Um, what do elephants eat? asked Sam. Food, silly boy! Sam sped into the kitchen and rummaged through the fridge and all the cupboards. He poured all the food in the house into a massive pot, gave it a huge stir. Quickly, please! Call the elephant from the living room. Poor Sam! Cooking up so much food? As fast as he could, Sam raced into the living room where the elephant was sitting on Dad's chair. Without a word, the elephant dunked his trunk in the pot and <laughs> slurped up all the food in one go. Now I had my starter. What's the main course? He asked. Later, it was time for Sam's favourite cartoon to come on. Telephone was snoring. Did I say the telephone? The elephant was snoring loudly. <sighs> Poor Sam just wants to watch the television. And there was a boring show on about antiques. So Sam crept up very, very quietly and prized the remote control out of the elephant's foot and changed the channels. All of a sudden, the elephant woke up. A 
I was watching that, he boomed. You were asleep, protested Sam. I was not. I love shows about antiques, said the elephant. Oh, sorry, do you collect antiques yourself, asked Sam. Of course not. I'm an elephant, my boy. When the boring antiques show had finally finished, the elephant declared, Ha! Huh, I need to take some exercise. Uh, exercise? asked Sam. Yes, I need to lose a few pounds. Do you have a bicycle? Uh, yes, but, but, spluttered Sam. But what? demanded the elephant. Well, it's quite small, and being an elephant, you might break it. How dare you, boomed the elephant. Now, where is it? What a demanding elephant, I might add. So Sam wheeled his brand new bike out of the garage. Please be careful, he pleaded. I know my way around a bicycle, the elephant said. Last year, I won the Tour de France. So the elephant climbed onto the bike, and as soon as he sat on it, I'm sure you could quite imagine what happened. Hmm? I think so, but let's have a look. Oh my word, he flattened it! Goodness gracious me! That bicycle was falling to bits already, said the elephant. After all that exercise, I need a nap said the elephant, and then he fell asleep on Sam's bed. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. It was the door. Who could it be? Uh, was it his mom back from the shops already? Sam hurtled down the stairs to greet her. I'm sure he must be so anxious and would really want to see his mom, wouldn't you? Let's see who's at the door. But when he opened the door, he couldn't have been more surprised to see. Are you ready for this? Do you know who's at the door? A massive herd of ginormous blue elephants. Oh my word. Our friend has invited us to stay, said the one with the longest trunk. Oh. There were elephants in the kitchen, elephants on the stairs, even elephants in the downstairs loo. Meanwhile, Sam rummaged around in his bedroom for that adopt an elephant form. When he finally found it, he realised something. He should have read the small print. So let's read that small print for you. The form says, Adopt an elephant. This certifies that Sam has successfully adopted an elephant. Congratulations! Fine print. I hereby consent to said elephant coming to live in my house and inviting all his elephant friends to stay. My word, if Sam had only read the fine print, he may have changed his mind about completing an adopt an elephant form. So maybe whenever you have the opportunity to sign a form, read the fine print. Otherwise you may also have a humongous blue elephant and friends at your front door. And bye for now.